I've got my bin out on time, close to the curb, not blocked by anything, ready to be picked up. I've done a check of everything I've put in and given it a good rinse. I'd give myself an achieved with excellence. But what happens next? I've always wondered how our recycling is actually recycled. Wherever you live in central Otago, if you have a curbside recycling service, your recycling is consolidated in Cromwell before being trucked through to Queenstown to the Frankton Materials Recovery Facility. This is the place that your recycling is separated into different types of material. Wow, that's a lot of recycling. Altogether, even if our recycling is nicely sorted and rinsed, it looks a bit of a mess. There are various stages this will have to go through to get it separated so it can be sold on to be recycled. Some of the recycling is sorted by machines. For example, magnets pull out the steel cans and cardboard is skimmed off to be baled together. Other things need people to be involved. For example, aluminium drink cans need to be pulled out by hand. While they work like machines, people sort out the plastic too. This is the hardest part of the sorting process. Staff have to work pretty fast and accurately to get the correct types of plastic, which can be hard to identify at this speed. Not all types of plastic can be recycled in Aotearoa, New Zealand, which is why we have to be careful with what we put in our bins. Anything you put in your recycling bin that isn't one of these makes the work of a recycling team even harder. These unrinsed containers or items that should never be placed in our recycling bins not only makes it a bad work day for our recycling team, but also means that our truckload of recycling could be rejected. Recycling only goes to landfill if we put too much of the wrong stuff in our bins. This is the outcome we all want to see when we put out our recycling sorted and baled material ready for turning into its next use. These bales of plastic bottles will go to Wellington and these bales of milk bottles and plastic containers are going just up the road to Christchurch. So while we have technology on our side and hard-working people power, it looks like it's all down to us getting the right things in our bin to make recycling work. So. We should all take the time to check we know what can and can't go in our recycling bins. Let's take time to care and not make recycling into a drama.